Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Speed Gaming 4 for tonight's Hollow Knight Lockout Bingo Randomizer Tournament match between some dude in the red corner and Meatbag over in the yellow corner. Uh, tonight, our commentary is provided by myself, Blind F Ref. And Rainbow Poogle. Good evening, everybody. Or morning, or wherever in the world you may be. Ooh, bingo boards offset. We should be able to get that fixed as this race takes off. Not too much is being hidden. Uh, both our, our runners are ready. We might get a working timer today. I mean, I'm not... Nasty. I've had some pretty nasty timer mishaps the last three times. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, both runners appear to be ready, and uh, we'll get the countdown going here in a little bit. So taking a look at this board. <laughs> Certainly a board. A lot of obtains I'm noticing right off the bat. We've got a talk to cloth, which should be pretty quick. We've got a few uh, dream warriors in Zero and Elder Who, a couple kills in the Aluba and Durandu. Uh, killing Umas with a minion charm. A lot of charms to find. Buying eight map pins from Zelda. Um, unlike Meatbag's first first round tie, there's no path of pain as the tie breaks, so I don't think we're going to see another 12-12 finish. So, there are a decent amount of obtain goals on this. Because... Not only is it, are the ones that say obtain goals, uh, the buy eight map pins, you have to get both Tram Pass and Dream Nail. Zero, you have to get Dream Nail. Some dude electing not to go for the Fury check. We'll see if that gives Meatbag a quick advantage as he retreats. Kind of a smart play by some dude, though. One check at Fury, but getting to Zelda first, we've seen uh, buying an Arcane Egg. Or oh, no, no. even just cliffs. That is the stagnant stag. At that, that could be game breaking. Some early access there to uh, to a different place on the map for Meatbag as soon as he can find a stag station to cash that in. Uh, I wonder if either of our runners are going to check the grub rewards. Well, that answers my question. Easy play by some dude. We'll see if anything comes up. Another stag? A dive? Is that 10 for dive? And Claw? Oh, jeez. Green pet. Oh, boy. Grub daddy is stacked. Oh, <laughs> Meatbag not going to realize what he's missing. And so, so there's 10 for a dive, 15 for Mantis Claw, and what was it, 18 for Dream Nail? Yup. Wow. And 9 for QG Stag, I believe. So Meatbag, while having Stag Nest, is not going to realize what he's missing out on. Oh dear, we lost something on this, on this setup. Hang on. Uh oh, do we die? No, we're. It's... Well, the resting ground stag is a crossroad stag. That's good to know. We should be back up shortly. This is normal, by the way. This is not technical difficulties. This is a built in feature by Team Cherry to create suspense for the tournament. Some dudes back up. I think. All right, they're both up. So, 
pale ore in the stag nest stag. Some dude looks like he may be paying a visit to resting grounds. As meat meatbag finding monarch wings up in the stag nest. Oh crap! That's... Oh, oh okay, I see oh. meatbags back on the left now. This uh, has got this to... has got me all confused. It's all right. Monomon, oh dear, some dude has infection. Meat bag right on his tail. Neither of them started the timer. I'm telling you, I'm cursed. They're like, our ah, ref is here. Like, I, kn I know that scoreboards are provided for us when we're at like rinks and stuff. But that doesn't carry over here, guys. We need a, we need a little help. This is this is gonna make a three-hour tie be a little hard to predict. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Some dude's starting to grab the grubs that he knows he's gonna need. Meat bag, meat the meat, meat bag, meat bag. Meanwhile, using the wings to get an early leg eater check. Some dude is heading over for Sly and Salubra. Well, we'll see if some dude is confident in a shade skip. Right now, gonna gonna do a little heal play it safe. Why do you need a shade skip? I don't think Meatbag has wings, does he? Some dude has infection. Just take the bench fly. No, that's fair. Rick's tricks. Uh, talk to midwife. Uh, if you drop down from the beast in the room the beast's den is in, you fall all the way to the bottom. You can make your way to the right, where you encounter a creature called the midwife. Um, she's it creepy. is Yeah, she's very creepy. If you sit there and talk too long, she'll try to eat you. It's too creepy. Oh, the one that's cut off. Midwife is at top. Talk to Cloth is is on the bottom. And Meatbag maybe going. Looks like Meatbag's gonna try to catch that one up here. And here's Cloth. A nice early goal. That is the first goal on the board for me. Some oh, dude's gotta be careful. Oh, no. And oh, no. takes a death. Wings was at the stag nest stag oh, stag nest vessel fragment. The stag is a pale ore. Meat, meat bag also infected, although having the wings. Ooh, some dude is gonna go back. Uh, meat bag also making his way down. Gonna have a slightly easier time getting over over to Salubra. And Meatbag is skipping the grub checks on the way. Otherwise, uh, for chat, the bottom left goal is kill a Durandu, then check Glowing Womb, kill three Umas using a minion charm, and the final one, as you might have figured out, is use two simple keys. Some dude having a little trouble getting that shade skip. Give Meatbag a slight advantage in getting there first. Hopefully there's uh, nothing too damaging as far as a purchase goes. Meatbag elects to take the bench first. A distant village stag and the best charm in the game in Quick Slash. Bag's gonna free up Sly, and we may see a bench warp back to Dirtmouth to see what is in that shop there. And yes, indeedy, here we go. Dash slash a balder shell. Meat bag double checking the board to see if any of these charms are available for a goal. 
does not appear that anything there. Um, did he buy a dash slash? He didn't buy a dash slash. Uh, that's an interesting decision considering we've got a square for obtain two nail arts. He may have been checking uh, to make sure that other shops did not have things. <sighs> bah, that's fair. Goes in, thinks about it, leaves some dude not buying distant village stag. Some dude now also going to check up on Sly. We'll see if he makes any different decisions with his geo. Doesn't look like he has quite enough to buy the dash slash. Even after getting, even after getting the 85, still 12 short. Now considering a separate course of action. You might be wondering, where do I go from here? Uh, not realizing that there's a decent amount of progression sitting right behind Fury Check. Yep. Might be going into resting grounds. Some dude Balder Shell and Overcharming with Quick Slash. Love this play. Love this play. Well, that is a goal. And there is the first goal for Sunday. Ooh. Some dude making a smart play there. That's one that's easy to overlook. Uh, Meatbag was there, had the opportunity, didn't seize it. And some dude probably saw off. probably saw that goal light up and immediately thought, oh, darn. Um, oh, that's a nice, that is a nice stag. A King Station stag is huge. Um, uh, Rick's readyable in chat asking about Breda, and yes, Breda is claw locked. Wings will get you up, but they won't get you all the way up. And there's no enemies to lure up in here. Shade is not is not gonna last. Meatbag, looks like we're gonna get a quick willow check. Some dude finding fury in the resting grounds and meatbag getting that nail art should be an easy one to go back and tie this match up real quick As some dude buys a stag meatbag oh there's hera finding a hera tying this up at two which so we've got two nail arts and two dreamers within the first stag give or take 10 15 minutes if this wasn't a bingo match i would say a uh, baby seed two dreamers right off the bat you could get bad ending in 15 minutes like that yeah i like this play by some dudes some dudes are gonna check the first oh ugh, the first check in beast den claw at nmg <sighs> Meatbag made a plan to recently with Claw at NMG. You're gonna see, only... yeah. Uh, you're gonna see a a nice little rando trick here where you can get this without Claw just by using wings at the proper time. Worth it. King's brand. Getting that abyss access early. Um, I believe you need the lamp to get to. Uh, you do not. You can drop straight down. It's dark. It's dark in her room, but you can talk to her while the room is dimmed. I only know that because I did it in the last bingo that I did. <laughs> and I thought I'm going to give it a shot, and it worked. So, hey. And it came in useful. What can I say? Every now and then there's a nugget of knowledge. Meatbag climbing up here. Could be going for the brand new. Which I never realized that what we were probably about to go see on Meatbag's screen, even if he doesn't go after them. 
I never realized what this thing was called. So, these things, these spiky things right here, those are called Durandus. Gonna take a damage boost, wait. It's a ballsy play, but he's got the soul to, to take it out. Some dude, gonna try to not be Jason. And, uh, to survive against False Knight should be pretty easy with Quick Slash. You can get in a lot of hits in a short time, get him staggered without taking too much damage. As Meatbag vanquishes the Durandu, retakes the lead three to two. Now, with the extra movement the Meatbag gets from Wings, he can go a lot of places. You'll see a lot of extra checks, and you're going to see some checks that aren't... or that are made easier or faster just by having Wings. We have seen both Fluke Nest and Fury of the Fallen, both gotten by some dude. Meatbag electing not to go left side there. Uh, there's two checks that are available by virtue of having wings. You can get the Geo Chest and you can damage boost up to the Vessel Fragment check. Oh no, that's where Meatbag's going. Oh. Well, the commentator's uncurse. Um, also looks like he's getting that quick kill for some Geo and some dude revisiting King's Pass. We may see him grab that Fury check. This is also a really good idea on Meatbag's part, because Meatbag knows where the second nail art is, and that two nail arts is on the board, and beating Massive Moss Charger is going to give him enough Geo to snatch that up. Yeah, Massive Moss Charger worth 300, maybe I will be made a fool, as he warps out is not going to do those checks. As some dude finds a Stagna Stag. And is not quite remembering which the dash slash is that. Dash slash, I think, was it Sly? One sub dude's about to get the news. Jill. Find Stag, Nest Stag finds his wings. Meatbag now with that f cozy 4 2 lead. Where is Meatbag gonna go now? Village Stag, alright. Uh, at Grubs. 9 Grubs was the Queen's Garden Stag, 10 Grubs was a copy of Dive. 15 grubs was a copy of Claw, and 18 grubs was Dreamgate. Looks like Meatbag is going to do the play you were saying earlier, Ref, of going for Midwife. So it's a smart move. Uh, you can you can get, find quite a lot down there. Limarma, if you land. Making it five to two. Maybe now Meatbag's gonna get check grubs. Maybe grubs in the mall? Um. We'll see. Gonna see that Grub Daddy check for Meatbag. Sees what treasures are waiting behind Grubs. Hasn't picked up on any yet, but that may change here.
isn't going to go for the grub pickups in green path. Looks like Meatbag is going to go and do the rest of the green path checks that he has access to. Like the play of finishing up the checks, although... Is it Meatbag or some dude that founded the King Station? Stag. Chat knows. Not able to land that. Meat bag going all the way up. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly cutting it close with Geo there, this late into a seed. Some dude finding that Cyclone Slash. Must realize that Meatbag has already been here with Wings, kind of kicking himself for maybe not getting that Fury check early. And finding Hera, and maybe a sinking feeling. Two easy, two easy goals. I realized maybe, just maybe, could have been his. Meatbag struggling with this uh, piranha plant, but does find a shopkeeper's key for his trouble. Unfortunately, not too much going to be uh, able to be purchased for just 91 bucks. The love key. Oh, goodness. Oh, what was King's mm. Love key with nail zero and no spells. Let's go for it. Why not? Did I see an Ismas pop up? Ah. Uh, I think so. It could have been. Either Can chat confirm that? Been. Looks like uh looks like chat's confirming that Ismas was in there. Neat. Gotta love it. So we see oh, we know yes. a lot of movies. Okay, things. some dude is doing one of my personal favorite skips. Ooh. This is a tricky one. You gotta, you gotta pogo off the acid cloud or off the, uh, the poison cloud here. I don't get why he's just not killing. Okay. And he says, "Way too low." Ooh, unlucky for some dude. As me beg. It's easier if you can kill and hit the uh, guy up onto that little ledge before that, because that makes everything so much easier for that track. Yeah. I've never personally done the skip. I was kind of cut off guard when Hamathity did it the other night. I didn't realize it was something that you could even do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how about that? Some dude gonna ride a stag. Some neat bag works, works his magic on Hornet 1. Alright, we're gonna see King Station. I like this check a lot. Um, well, if you're looking for Geo, some dude might be happy for the, with the 145 that he just picked up. Declines the mask shard that he can't afford. Meatbag. If I remember correctly, was the mask shard in Queens? By, yep, by Willow. Meatbag, gonna grab the unbench. We may see a run to un. Oh, also, there's an Aluba Square. Meatbag making the big brain plays, keeping his eyes on the bingo board. Fighting this little moss guard, waiting patiently for the Aluba to be within range. Hits it, picks up the lead to six to two. Some dude making his way into the City of Tears. We could see a Soul Sanctum play as he's missing a simple key to get down to the, into the sewers. Meatbag's Meatbag gonna go over to the Dream Shield. Is going to check out Resting Grounds. This, this was a stag, was the King Station stag over here, wasn't it? 
No, it was Fury. King Station, I believe, was in the general vicinity of here, though, if I'm remembering correctly. We have not seen Essence, however. And Meatbag is going to go give us an Essence check. I like it just because I like being omnipotent. Uh, We've got a dash. And that's a cheap one too. That one's that one's doable with just the dreamers that are or the dream World warriors. Seven hundred nine. Looks like it's just it's just the the dash at one eighty seven. Some dude checking rafters, getting soul catcher. Well, um, I'm surprised to see him not thinking about continuing up into sanctum. And it looks like he's unpaused and is making his way over. I mean. World Sense is on the board. Oh yeah, right there in the free spot. Unfortunately, it is not free. No, no, it's not. Looks like, ooh, it looks like Meatbag is gonna go back for that. Uh, that. Patamas Jill. Ismas. Thank you. I'm gonna I pick that up it. and get some movement. Gonna get access to Queen's Gardens. Thank the love key check. Un. Or un. What? You got the bench already, me bag. Just go. Go take a run. You've got you yeah, take the run. The run take to un. It'll be fun for everyone. Meatbag, however, is going to like to go this way into Fungal and through Fungal into Fog Canyon. Some dude not getting the grub. Oh, uh, it's a real. F that's a. That's as, as free of a grub as you're gonna get, especially with Claw sitting there at what? 10? 11? 15? Uh, Claws at 15. Oh, the meat bag. Nail. Meat bag with the dream nail. That's a huge advantage with the number of dream warriors on the board, especially is, since he has is... access to both. Wait. So you know he's gonna oh. he's gonna rush zero. I can almost guarantee he'll switch yeah. straight to who and then come back for a dash, and that's gonna give him whatever advantage he might have is gonna be blown wide open with the, the bigger lead and the faster movement. Some dude thinking, thinking. He's got access to storerooms. Got access to uh, at least two other checks up Sanctum. Might be looking at the bingo board and thinking, what can I do here? I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna try not to speak for him too much. But he appears to be a little flummoxed about his current situation. As the dream nail holds a wanderer's journal, Meatbag returning to the top. Flummoxed. Confused. Perplexed. I think. Did I just use a big word that I didn't know what it meant? Shrug. Maybe we'll all learn something today. Some dude doing the moist redacted room as it's known in the speedrunning community. I'm getting a seal for his troubles. That's not exactly what he was hoping to find. Meatbag making a, a quick a quick zero play here. Uh, these these spears are not the easiest thing to to avoid when you don't have a dash. Uh, so the fact it's only taken one hit is is pretty impressive so far. Is zero and who are not the greatest to uh to do without, without a, dash. a dash? I'd say I would say zero is a bit easier. The the pancake storm that who unleashes is they're, they're clearly pow hammers 
Oh no, meatbag. And oh, meatbag goodness. squeaks it out. Some dude rancid egg falling behind by five now. Just not falling his way. Um, it, I'm kind of surprised some dude hasn't started to rush grubs. Uh, there's plenty available with with the locations and and wings. Yeah. And it would give him at least something to try to come back. It seems to just be trying random checks, hoping to maybe find a sprint master or a long nail dash master mark of pride. Anything on the board that might give him a square and improve improve the morale. A little wombo combo falling down that spike tunnel. That one you got to be careful with. Uh, if you have it, most players choose to use dive going down to make sure that those guys can't bump you back up into those spikes. And yeah, midbag is going directly for Elder Who. No hesitation and some dude either. finds the dupe mantis claw at the storeroom's elevator. Oh, we've got a chance. There's a That's chance. Wings incredible. and claw. Meatbag getting that spacing down very well. Meatbag will have dash by the end of this, but having claw is having claw is big. A bunch of checks that Meatbag can't do. You'd have to think that some dude sees claw, looks at the board, says, "Rescue Bretta, I've got to go." Oh, he's or not? Right. May see. That's what oh, I would no, think. He's, he's doing that I one. think, yeah, he's going back. He's coming back down, saying, "Heck with what you, bug! I don't need to bounce off of your death mist." Where's he going? Uh, this looks like a spore shroom check. Maybe up into deep nest. I moss prophet. It looks like that's on the board. Oh, okay. And you can get the really easy grab on the way. Meatbag has to be almost done with him. There it is. <laughs> there commentator, it is. commentator, not curse. But that's gonna give him that eighth square. Probably go straight to resting grounds. As some dude bows to Moss Prophet, we got eight three. Uh, Meatbag not having the claw that some dude does have, but is about to get dash. And that is going to get him some serious horizontal movement advantage. Some dudes just seems pretty indecisive. Thinking, thinking, thinking. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, heads back to Dirtmouth. Well, I mean, Claw probably going to do the well check. Bretta, yeah. Ch as chat points out, Bretta is waiting and... Uh, maybe forgot about it. A mask shard not gonna solve any of his problems. I have to wonder where is he going? Why is it... I can't. Grabs for dive or not? No, nah, skipping over the grub. Meatbag opening up the uh, the cemetery. Some dude, ooh, some dude going back to Ancestral Mound as that was blocked off by the infection. Ah, uh, okay. Don't think he has a Balder Killer, but he should be able to get behind the Balder using Claw to climb up this little, this little chimney way here. Finding Lifeblood Cord, that's pretty good for getting the 10 blue masks at once. As Meatbag finds the first spell, and some dude with the C dash, the horizontal movement on both sides. Couple so, of, what I kind of want to see. I kind of want to see. Meatbag get a lifeblood charm. And then go check this. Then again, I'm. Slightly biased toward the best checks, especially in recent logic. You should always be biased towards the best checks, especially with an early King's brand. I'd say you don't want to miss out. Yeah, uh, even though they normally tend to be rather abysmal. <laughs> abysmal? Get it? Hey. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
we we got a single hit in chat. You you guys know you loved it. Oh. Sorry, my favorite my favorite charm is more than likely Mark of Pride. Ooh, Mark of Pride, that's gonna be nine. It's nine Both runners three. passed up the 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 motto check. They both visited Stagna, Stag, neither one dropped down. Meatbag getting on a second visit to the cliffs. Gonna switch gears. Uh, may may we see a dark room here? No. Nope. We may not. Unlucky. Getting getting there in the dark room is easy. Getting out without a dream gate or a dive, not as simple. Ooh, Shaman Stone. Very nice find for Meatbag. Gonna make that one spell that he's found be good as some dude gets another blue charm. That's six masks That's that he can Weaver's find. Song. That's another goal. Oh dear, Meatbag just running away. Cliff's loaded. That's ten for Meatbag. Some dude choosing to avoid the Mantis fight. It's a long one for three checks. Uh, maybe trying to make that that B line straight to Breda. It's going to be a little tricky, uh, not having a dash, but C dash will make it not so hard. Chat pointing out we've got that minion to go kill the Umas. Uh, and yes, the uh, the put the bench down and then immediately delete it because minion charms can be bugged. Meatbag getting one. Choosing to heal. Waiting, waiting, waiting as some dude does the very... does a, does a first try fast fall and bread a spike tunnel. Using C-dash to stop the fall. Punch on over. Gonna talk, gonna rescue Bretta, and we're gonna make it well 10-4. Meatbag gonna quickly restore that seven uh, bingo square lead. Soon as these Weaverlings do their thing, which uh, seem a little reluctant to do. There it is. No, not quite yet. The Weaverlings are being a butt. We got it. And 11 to 4. Some dude seems to be having a few leg issues, but he's going to give us a glowing moon check. And that will get him a fifth square should he survive the gauntlet. This gauntlet's a little, little harsh. It's it's not real easy. If, harsh, but... Yeah, if if you have a fireball, it's not so bad. But coming in here with nail zero and no spells, it could pose a little challenge if you if you're not careful. And when you're playing against the clock uh, with an opponent that's just two squares away from a victory, you may be uh, you may be pressured to rush things a little bit in here. Some dude getting up, pogoing. Got two more waves, gets a heal in. Meatbag putting on a balder killer. Or something. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Ah, get it. Setting the bench. Getting them to redeploy, taking them off. Marked the wrong bench to warp. Not doing it anymore. Some dude running into a little trouble. Getting the heels in. And apparently I can't count. Thank you, Verulian. Nah, nah. Blame the blame the tracker. The stream layout's been having issues all night. You can you can you can take you can take the blame off your shoulders. No, that one was entirely my bad. Oh. I will yell at this. I will blame the stream layout when it is appropriate to blame the stream layout. That one was on me. Some dude finishing up, getting his fifth square. Mm -hmm. 
and meat bags frozen and unfrozen and refrozen and unfrozen. Don't worry about us. Looks like Meatbag's gonna go sell to Lem. Just thawing our frozen meat. Glitching is getting in here with the joke that was on everybody's mind. Realizing, um, maybe not realizing he's got Dash Slash. Would be able to uh, do the do the opening from the wrong side of that lever. Instead, choosing to check rafters on his way up looks like some dude is going to be doing a safe play to try to get 10 blue masks at once well this would put him at nine nine oh yeah that nine so this play would put him at nine masks i mean that's a lot of walking to try to get that tenth um oh but they're they're oh, running man. off they're running off and he misses misses two gonna go back to get one uh the autopilot check not going to be friendly either Now the tracker is just not being. For See, we can blame the tracker. I, I said. Well, no. Now it's work not working with me. Before I was just wrong. But what if the chat doesn't believe you now? Well then. <laughs> <laughs> Robins. Ooh, some dude finding a dive. Uh, has access to crypts. A lot of quick checks, especially with claw. Uh, not sure how confident he feels in Flower Quest, but could go get it and deliver to Elderbug. Meat bag going all the way up. I'm not going to be able to go, go too far. Wings gets you somewhere, but not all the way up. He's going to be able to get yeah, the first check that we saw some dude do. Looks like Meat Bag's going to actually clear out Beast End. Nice. Oh, Gotta have Claw to get all the way up. I apologize for that. I had forgotten that the cat went to sleep under my desk and wanted out of the room. Hmm. That's okay. Meatbag picking up the charm notch here in the stag station. The Ooh, top if of the meat, If Meatbag is going to go over to the left, it, this is where some dude found Brazil, yeah. Could be. Some dude exploring crypts. Oh man, it froze again. Great slash. It unfroze. And Wait. the bingo board is way off. What, what did the bingo board do now? It's back. It's not back. It's gone. What's going on? I don't have control over this. I don't even know what's going on. I don't either. Huh. Just a lousy rancid egg. That is not the correct board on screen. Uh. Hmm. Meatbag oh, finding that, that the, the claw. claw. Um. Well. We'll do our best to keep you informed. I guess we're starting over. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Some dude finding a simple key. That, uh, that gets him halfway 11 there. 11 to 5. Appears to be 11 to 5. So some dude needs one more simple key. Please. Was there one at Zelda? He goes back. Says, give me, give me, wait. Oh, uh, no, so no. Both of the runners do currently see their board. 
And the board that's on screen, for some reason, is not the correct board. Some dude, fairly certain that he saw a key, but goes back for dash slash, and we're going to see an NMG check. What is down here? Just a spore shroom. Oh, well. Um, does not have the geo to buy the map pins. Oh, everything's dying now. Meat bag's frozen. Some dude's no longer frozen. Some dude is back. Man, I hope we don't miss anything. Some dude close to a blue lake check decides not to do it. Oh, good point, chat. Needs the tram pass to buy the last map pin. I don't know if some dude's thinking or if he's frozen. Well, um, I can give you an update on Meatbag currently. Meatbag is currently going into this. Some dude is just hovering. Not sure where to go next. Looks like he's making the play into a dark screen. Green path. Uh, perhaps going back to check the Acid Bridge Relic and Thorns. Uh, that's correct, Ready Well, You do need C-Dash to get the Arcane Egg check. Um, but, with, but with Claw, would also be able to go uh, check Shade Cloak at the far right side. And yeah, with the wraiths, can do shrieks. You can do half the checks, about almost. Yes, currently, your bag's stream is frozen on theory stream. Their stream is not actually frozen, and they are currently running around the abyss. Oh, some dude getting up to that toll bench we mentioned, uh, maybe not having enough geo and finds himself short. Deciding to go up, going to use the claw C dash combo, probably checking thorns here. I'm just, I'm just watching the bingo card for meat bag. Wait, so where is some dude going? Oh, taking the long way around the toll bench. A rancid egg in abyss. Yep, rancid egg in abyss. I'm I'm not seeing it. The restream is, is frozen. It's all falling apart. Uh, Poogle, you're gonna have to keep us all updated on on meat bag. I'm keeping an eye. Excellent. I've got like laser focus on some dude right now. Trying to work that piranha plant. Discovers a shop key. And uh, if he can find some geo, we'll be able to get Isma's, but is still looking to be about 152 short. Sees a love key, thinks. Eh, probably not. So Meatbag is going towards. Uh, castle, it looks like. Yeah, and some yeah. dude. Some dude appears to be. Going for the, the masks again. Good play to get a square. Not a good play to do any checks. I would be able to do a militia for each uh, with a simple key to get into waterways. 
could get up in that spike tunnel, dash over and climb up. Up to eight blue masks, thinking about where do we go from here? The answer, probably stag to Queen Station if he's got it unlocked. And then climb up past the, uh, back into the autopilot room and hopefully not miss him. Meatbag did check grubs eventually. Nice dodge there. Not so nice dodge. Here, let's do this. There we go. Get get a little sound back here for you. That world sense is a static goal. Um, I did not catch how much essence we needed for that. Well, seven hundred and something. I want to say seven hundred and nine. That is, that's quite the amount. Not sure what some dude is working on here. Oh, ooh, this is a, this is a smart play. Uh, a very safe way to get to a few more lifeblood masks. I really like this. It's something that I don't think I would have considered. Oh, uh, going to Stagnast and then coming down. That's that's really clever. Some dude with the with the the mega brain play right here. Playing it safe, not wanting to take any damage, can't afford to lose one mask. Gets up here. Bang, 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 bang. And uh, is able to get. There's 10. It's sixth square. <gasps> hey, the board is back! The board is indeed back. I mean, Meatbag's not back, but the board is back. I was gonna say something to got really colorful and I couldn't put my finger on it. Ch chat, however, is on top of it. Some dude taking some charms off, maybe putting one back on. Likes working that quick slash. So some dude not quite out of it yet. It looked it looked pretty rough there. Uh, but he's got a real chance at, at pulling, if not pulling anything out, then at least making Meatbag shift in his seat. Falling down to the gauntlet, maybe making that sewers play for Emilitia. Realizing that simple key is there. Uh, in the if I'm... meantime, Meatbag is currently fighting Broken Muscle. Oh, nice. Get him one check. Maybe going for the Lost Kin fight. Which would, I mean, if you ask me, be a terrible idea with a spell in Nail Zero. N not sure that's something you want to do. I mean, it would be worth it if you could pull it off, but oof. Uh, some dude did check crypts, cyber space. Mm -hmm. Cyberspace slot. And we've got a raid. Welcome in Speed Gaming 1. We have an interesting match here of Hollow Knight, Randomizer, Lockout, Bingo, Meatbag has an 11 to 6 lead, uh, but it was 11 to 4. Some dude with a few advantages as far as movement goes. Just with the C dash, going to be able to get down into into the spike tunnel skip. Maybe not the skip, but into the actual spike tunnel along with dive. And we'll be able to get the Emilitia goal. Uh, we're experiencing a few restream issues on Meatbag's side, uh, but a few uh, fine members of chat, plus my co-commentator, are keeping a close eye on his stream. I do not believe uh, I've seen Unbreakable Heart or Unbreakable Strength anymore. Some do not wasting any time with checking anything down here. Gonna go straight up. So the hidden stack station, however, is at progression egg. For those of you who do not know what that is, that is the blue egg, the rancid egg in blue lake, not a blue egg. Silly me.
some do not dealing with flukes at all. They can be a real pain. Uh, Meatbag has not currently found C Dash yet. Some dude gets through the spike where tunnel. C was. Oh. Gonna hop over. He's gonna have to go up this room. Hey, Rev, where was C Dash? Oh, jeez. I don't remember. Chat will let us know. The journal under Stone Sanctuary. Yeah, that, that little guy. Claw locked. Some dude gonna Wait, go straight no, up. Right, C Dash was at Soul Catcher. Dive was under Stone Sanctuary. Ah. Thank you, chat. See, these guys know. Meatbag is indeed going for grubs now. Some dude talking to a militia. We're just bringing it back. It is now 11 to 7. Yeah. Track or whatever update, but alas. Some dude looks like we're going to get a Kingdom's Edge visit. Or maybe just the Grub Rescue, or maybe all three. With Dive and Wings, uh, has the ability to do all the checks. Um, the 420 Grub... I guess you don't need to do the Grub in Mini Super Junk Pit, but even getting to Quick Slash is going to be a little bit tricky without a dash. However, it's not impossible. As we seem to have re-lost the bingo board. Some dude is going to be buying a tier. Well, we'll see if we can. We'll see if we can get Speed Gaming to come in and uh, maybe clean something up for us. So there may be a hiccup, but uh, if there is, know that it's intentional now. Since we're already mid hick. <laughs> Vengeful spirit. They pick up the meat bag is acquired. Where do you find that one at? Uh, the vessel fragment past the massive moss charger. Ooh. Went there earlier, didn't quite make it all the way. Would have been pretty, pretty useful to have. Bingo board is back. Some dude returning to the cliffs, deciding to nope out of Kingdom's Edge. Wait. Ah, doing the Mato check. Harlea now accurately reflects the 11 to 7. Hooray! Some dude finding that mark of pride. Gonna drop down and. Uh, Gonna see Weaver Song as well if he continues to the left side here. A little unfortunate. Uh, gonna realize that following in Meatbag's footsteps could uh, could cost him. However, he does have dive, which Meatbag didn't have, and should be able to do the Balder kill. At the very bottom slash top of green path. Meepe going for lost kin no nail upgrades. Yep. Just a fireball. I believe he has shaman stone though, so it's not. He does indeed have shaman. Some dude just found it. So if you're wondering where shaman was, it was in Holland Cliffs. As was Weaver Song. Now, now some dude's gonna have a little bit of an indication of where Meatbag might have already been, and will have already been. Well, both players with Klosh would be able to return and get the two checks plus Grub. 
um, in Beast's Den. It looks like Meatbag got refreshed. He's on a different frozen screen. We could be getting close. Just a Hal and a Seal at the Baldur's. Is Meatbag here? Meatbag's here at um, 20 frames per minute. But he's oh, here. No. Some dude going down and gonna take the flower. We are going to get an elder bug flower quest. Did you see what was at flower? Rancid egg. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, strap in for the content, ladies and gents. Uh, if you're not familiar with Hollow Knight, the delicate flower, as long as you're carrying it, means you cannot do a bench warp. Well, you can if it's agreed to in the rules, but you cannot ride a stag. You cannot take damage. You cannot use a dream gate. You have to go untouched to your destination in order to deliver the flower in its entirety. And if you don't, you have to do it all over again. Because that's just what that does. Uh, the one advantage to it is that when you pick it up, you get a hard save at at the Grey Mourner. So you could just save and quit and you'll spawn back at the start. So you don't have to do a ton of walking. Ooh, some dude with a risky dive. Finds a wanderer's journal for all that time and effort. As meat bags, one frame every. F ooh, ooh, meat bag is back. He's animated. Hooray! He is fighting Loskin still. Didn't miss too much. Ah, but seems to be doing an okay job getting some heals and taking some damage. This is not an easy fight to do with with you know, you know, base fireball. You've only got wraiths. Shaman stone will help, but nail zero isn't going to do you any favors either. I can only do so much. Lost Kin is a very difficult fight. Some dude gonna find this, uh, and find this hidden station stag. The hardest part about doing the Elder Blood flower quest is having infected crossroads, because those infected venge flies are such a pain. Uh, having quick slash will help him keep them at bay. But other than that, he doesn't have he doesn't have you know the the wraiths or shriek to try to fend them off vertically. As Meatbag takes a death to Lost Kin, that oh, is. No. That is a lot of time lost. He's going back in. He F's in gonna... chat for Meatbag. He's but he shall not be fight. deterred. He thinks he's going to go for it again. That is very ballsy. And then nopes out of it. And then nopes back in. Ooh, some dude almost getting hit with some acid there. The infected Jessica almost taking him down. And now knows what he's got to do. And freezes. Meepag does look like he's going for the, that world sense, considering world sense is at, at what, 709, I think it was? I'm not sure what he's at, but he's at at least 200 for having the two Dream Warrior kills. Some dude luring that venge fly back. Slowly working it down. Ever so slowly with the whittling. The one thing you need to watch out with those guys is that they'll catch you with their exploding corpses. Oh, those are terrifying. Some dude goes up. Gonna come up, and there's gonna be even more infected Vlenge flies. Venge flies here. And one here. Gonna try to keep it up. Looks like he's keeping it stuck on that platform. As it dies, he hops up. One more room cleared. Almost all the way back to home. That is now in my lap, in my head table. 
some dude sea dashing through. Returns to Dirtmouth. And we are going to have an 11 to 8 match. Big GG's to some dude. Talks to Elderbug. Yeah. Going to deliver that flower and he can finally unclench. Oh boy. And that will be an 11 to 8. So As now. is continuing to fight. This boss can fight. Honestly, You'd have to I, I don't mm -hmm. mind this play from him still because it is a goal he knows exactly where it is. And they don't know where Tram pass, so they can't he can't do the eight map yeah. He can't do Outs the five map check. Yep. Outside outside of World Sense, everything is is just random luck. It's it's hope you get the make the right call. That's all you can hope for. Yep. Some dude looks like he's gonna take that elevator and get those checks above King Station. Meatbag, risky heal, doesn't pay off. Another risky heal this time, it did pay off. Until he decided he wanted to face plant right into Lost Skin's horns. This time, gets the kill. Gets the kill, all right. Good. Big GG's. That's, that's good. It is indeed 11 to 8. This tracker doesn't like me. Yeah, the tracker's been a little bit behind even with updating, but at least we have the streams, and that's what really matters. Picking up that essence now up to 600. Doesn't need too much more. Gonna go kill Gorb and then probably get the tree right outside of resting grounds. That would be a good play, and it seems you're. Right, right on the nose with that call. Oh, I've, I've done that before. Some dude getting the gauntlet. We'll see what lies in wait. It appears to be nothing more than a pile of Geo 620. And that will be a door down. Easy kill. Uh, these Dream Warriors, especially with Nail Zero, are very, very easy to take care of. Uh, they get increased health with every Nail upgrade you get. So most players won't do any Nail upgrades as long as they're trying to go for those Dream Warriors so they can keep those fights as easy as possible. some dude with one more check. It's just a charm notch. It's useful, but it's not going to get him any progression on the board. Meatbag checking that he does indeed need a little bit more essence. Ding, 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 ding as he gets closer and closer to 12. Calculates it perfectly. We're going to get that number 12 in yellow. There is World Sense. Meatbag has one more check to do. Some dude knows that Meatbag spent a while grinding Essence. And uh, is going to give us a Kingdom's Edge look. Oh, it's a bingo. Doesn't count. You don't win with that. You hate to see it. So now it's down to checks. We've got some dude giving us a uh, Kingdom's Edge meat bag. Maybe a Moloch check? Interesting. Or maybe a few more grubs to grind. We shall see what happens. Ooh, Fog Canyon East. Which is even better. And no one's been here. Some dude gonna head out to Oro's shack. See what he's gonna be overcharged for today. Not having a dash, making it a little harder to get through these big hoppers. Oh, this is. Oh, this, oh, this is this is a little manka ass, but he gets through. Meatbag, oh, okay. oh, Meatbag's just doing grub grinding. Strange play. 
No, he probably wants to dive. Yeah, I suppose. Was not fortunate enough to find another one as some dude was. He does have, I believe, the requisite amount of grubs, or almost the requisite amount of grubs for it. There's he that. does now. There's that tenth. Some dude showing off the fact that he has dive. Uh, he's going to climb up here and going to go for what's called a fake dive, where you do a dive to get through broken ground, or breakable ground, and uh, without going down. Unable to get it, but this pogo off the big hopper makes it easy to get back up, check the rancid egg, find a simple key, and he's got a ninth square. Indeed. So Meatbag, Meatbag smart to prioritize dive, might be a little late. If he decides to follow in the Kingdom's Edge footsteps, it will definitely be too late. Uh, looks like some dude's gonna return to Waterway? Oh, check Ooh, check in Pleasure House. Two good checks. Yeah, I was gonna say, he, he can... He can... He can go in the door. It's okay. He <laughs> seemed to stand there, thinking about whether or not the open door was an invitation or just a mere suggestion. Meatbag making the QG play. So some good route divergence going on here when all you're doing is a treasure hunt. Some dude's still lacking a dash. Uh, Crystal Dash makes up for it in a few situations, but most, as far as simple movement, it's not going to be easy to, uh, to use that with. So some dude could find Tram Pass. That could really make things interesting. Decides to nope out, really wants to get Quick Slash. You can get Quick Slash without a dash. Um, as long as you get your wing timing into the spikes just right. If you get far enough left, your respawn box will shift to the other side of that mini spike tunnel. And you will spawn on the other side. Really? Yeah. It's a Unless little difficult. It's a little day. difficult, but it's not as tight as it looks, as you can see. Uh, nailed it. As long as he doesn't die to this little hopper here. Gonna farm. A, a quick slash will will be very, very useful in keeping that guy away from you. Uh, Quacksilver. I don't think so. I don't think we have any. I believe greed was found. It might have been on when Meatbag Person was ah. frozen. We'll say we'll say that's exactly what happened. Oh, Some no. dude struggling okay. decides to abandon Quick Slash. I don't blame him for that. It's it's a singular check, and you're surely gonna die if you stay. Uh, looks like he's picking bread a bench. We might get a Mantis Lord's check. Can also follow it up by going to core. Just That'd kidding, he went to a stag station. Stag. Ooh. Dark fireball. Some dude is gonna go back and finish the beast den check. I like what uh, Dr. Dr. Puss has said with the multiple waterways checks. Waterways is loaded. Some dude visited, but didn't really do anything. There's a lot left side. Uh, there's the fluke marm is available. Some dude realizing does not have dash would be able to use C dash to get into the shortcut, but is gonna have to go the vanilla route. Yes, NMG was indeed sports room. Bag looks like he's making a Kingdom's Edge play. We'll see if he decides to go the uh, the Oro route. Or if he's going to make, or is it Mato? I never remember which is where. Mato is in Howling Cliffs, Shio is in Green Path, and Oro is the one in King Edge. I gotta find out a way to associate greed with Oro. If, if anybody in chat has a mnemonic device for that, I'm open to it. Uh, looks like he is gonna make that far right side play. We will see Quick Slash if he can survive that mini gauntlet. 
The other play, of course, would be to go up and do the Colosseum checks, or maybe even go back to buy Love Key and take on the Collector. Think of the content. Some dude deciding not to go that route either. Not sure I agree with that, but it appears we're going to get a a mask shard check here. All oh, right, this was not a check, yeah. Oro the anagram for eight hundred. That will probably work. Or Oro valuable or Geo. Look at this, y'all. Y'all gave me four of them. It's amazing. The Golem Tunnel here by some dude navigating with ease. It is and it's egg. just a rancid egg. Oh. Green path. Checking out for some dude. Not making the run to on. Meat bag is frozen again. Oh no. Oh, Getting meat back. Okay. He was just he was just is thinking. Meatbag making the run to on? He is. There's no jubation by Meatbag. He's in it to win it. This is not a world record time for the run to un, but it'll count for something. Some dude making the risky play of getting doing a Shio check without a dash. It's doable, but not easily. And that's exactly why. Slash. Un, 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 un. Has a king's idol. Oh, bruh. Disappointment. Where else can they check? Oof, some dude way too high on that wing. Oh, waterways easily. Waterways, 100%. It's stacked. I don't think Meatbag has done crypts. I don't believe so either. So we'll get that from him. Some dude still trying to navigate, gets to the other side of the first jump. Got one more to do before he gets to a, uh, a respawn point, and he nails it first try. Gonna play this one safe. One more tough jump, and doesn't quite get it. He's gonna have one more opportunity. There's 4,500 Geo on the line, and he hits a spike. Hate to see it. So Meatbag knows that some dude has been down here by doing the flower quest. Uh, has to wonder if maybe there's some movement tech that he missed or something else that's useful. Might think that some dude could have found one of the unbreakable uh, rams down here and only had one. It's possible. Finds a second simple key. Um, so I'd be surprised if he doesn't make a waterways play, but maybe thinking, ah, some dude did Emilitia. I'm not going to go there either. Some dude getting that jump for his try. This meatbag goes to check. Check on his status of his spore shroom. Sees it. Some dude breaking that sea dash, and I'm not sure why. Oh. Oh, he got hit. That's harsh. The, uh... Ooh, looks like he took another hit. Froze for just a second. Meat bag. Making his way back into Crossroads. Maybe a Moloch check here. Since I've asked. I, I've said that two, more, two other times. So, I mean... It doesn't mean too much coming from me. No, see? Didn't happen again. Ooh, some dude on the verge of losing out. Oh. Ooh, you hate to see it. Meatbags so finally finding a C dash. So, what I want to know is when are our runners going to go to Crystal Peaks? Yes. Crystal Peaks has not been touched. They're gonna go when when they go. Ooh, 
I don't think we saw this chat. I don't know, Pig Sauce. I adore Pig Sauce, but that is also the thing. I feel like some dude has been here before. No, but Pete Bag has because this was dream now. Ah, there is a dream nail for some dude. Could have come in very handy with those flying Durandus. Someone posted what they were. I totally forgot. Glowing womb. Glowing womb. At Down the in the blue room. A Duranda. Duranda. Durandu. Shade, Shade cloak. cloak. We've got a shadow dash for Meatbag. Meatbag can check uh, the shade cloak check that some we could not have. And Sharp Shadow could also go fight Markoth for content. Just saying. Duran Duran lost out. <laughs> Some dude's gonna go all the way to the left. Wasn't there a... What was over here? Was it Fireball or Dash? There was something out to this side. I don't know, but Meatbag's already been here and he's gonna go back and check it. Yeah, Fireball. Some dude about to get a little splody boy. Oh, Meatbag, don't freeze at the pivotal moment. Oh, thank goodness. Just a vessel fragment. Where Unlucky. Is... You hate to see it. Where is this tram pass? We're not sure, but our runners seem to be following each other around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but when, uh, when Nico was having the uh, connection issues, he had like, gone into the Abyss. Big flying to the right. Is this going to be a potential Mantis Lords play? Oh, please, please, please fight Mantis Lords. Such a great fight. Such a great unit track. It's like watching ballet, except there's nails and blood involved. I mean, what could be more hardcore? That's, that's an enemy meat bag. Don't jump into him. So, yeah, then it's kind of just like ballet in general. Meatbag coming down here. I, I don't see where, where that differs from normal ballet. I guess I've never really watched ballet. Pretty intense. I've just seen TV representations of it. Meatbag going straight to fungal core. Interesting. No, real ballet is pretty intense. Wow! Wow! See if this is a god brain play. Just so you. far, no. Some dude following Meatbag's footsteps into. We really haven't seen deepness at all either. No. No deepness. We haven't really seen much of waterways. We haven't seen Upper Kingdom's Edge. We have not seen Crystal Peaks once. Or for those of you that are. Big on semantics, Crystal Peak. Hard to say I love grammar if I'm gonna be constantly mispronouncing words. Making up letters. Soul Sanctum's untouched, serious business points out. There are a lot of places that are just not. Meet not Bacon, yet. give us a super secret relic check. Perhaps falling down into Deep Nest and using that Shade Cloak to do a Sharp Shadow check. Or will this check prove he doesn't need to? Just a rancid egg. The debate is on. Some dude gonna do this Mask Shard play here. Pretty easy to do when you have Claw. And some dude's gonna get the King's Brand. And King's Brand? Is that, gonna is that, is that gonna to, uh, lead him down? 
Hmm. Uh, you can get tram pass without lantern. That the the path up from the hot springs is not dark. It only goes dark once you go off the left path into like deeper into deep mist. He begged making his way through with just one mask to spare. Some dude appears to be going the same way, but a different route. So it looks like we are going to get the sharp shadow check. Let's see what the future holds. Well, if anything was locked behind Shade Cloak, it might be here. Or it might not. Just oh, Geo. Yeah. So many Geos. That was like at least six Geos. Looks like me bags are over the Vessel Fragment as well. Vessel Fragment? Mask Fragment? Oh, Meat Bag for us again. Oh, no. Come back, Meat Bag. Yeah, some dude going down into the abyss, not going to find anything new. Meatbag is, is back in limbo and not anymore. Just, just in time to see what is hidden at this Garpede frag. Uh, Meatbag's not going to life, but... So, ooh, halfway to birthplace checks. Dun dun dun. Me back went back for the uh, went back for the life blood checks. I don't believe me back went in life blood the first time I got here. Nothing happy. I remember that much. Some dude still struggling to get a dash. Bag going right up. Looks like we're going to get a failed tramway check. More than likely. Can hear everybody's favorite Grey Prince, Mr. Zote, struggling in the background here. I said Mr. I mean His Royal Highness. Oh, so sorry. I feel I feel terrible. I'm ashamed of myself. I shouldn't say that. Well, some dude is gonna get his first dash here. Hooray! See some quicker movement here. Zot would have my hide so hard he'd make a fifty-eighth precept. Don't mind the sounds of the creepy bugs. They're just creepy. I feel like that would make me mind a bit more. Well, do I do what I can? Just a mask shard down here. Some dude unable to even pick it up by virtue of not quite having rates yet. A vessel fragment. Just a vessel fragment. So, me back is gonna go now check the failed tram check. Well, here's your chance for vanilla tram pass if y'all are wanting it. Otherwise, and this would be a lovely troll, what do you say to tram at color 2? Ooh. Possible. I have a feeling Crystal Peaks is gonna be loaded. I don't know that we could probably, yeah, tram pass. Two unbreakable charm sprint master, it's just all there. <laughs> it's the new business. Mm, unlucky. Something major, but majorly late. This was one of the first things available at the shopkeeper's key from Sly. Meatbag thinking, thinking. Where do we go? No. You go to Crystal Peak. You know the thing you've not touched at all. 
when you get lost, one easy way without having to, say, open up a map or use a rando map bod is is I like to use bench warp and I just look for concentrations of benches that I haven't touched. And I would look and I'd go, oh, I haven't touched peak. Maybe I should go there. It does look like we're going to get a Kahlo check if Meatbag can make it all the way without finding Sprint Master or Tram Pass. Or one more Unbreakable Charm. We'll see what he gets. Just another rancid egg. Some dude maybe making a run to un here? Or making a run to... I'm confused. So some dude's already done the Balder kill. Um, oh, I think I know what he's playing at here. It looks like he's going to drop down and get that the uh, Acid Relic and Thorns of Agony checks. Ah, uh, gotcha. That makes sense. <laughs> Call of Tularian Tramp Acid Black Egg. Oh. I like Quacksilver's uh, amendment here with the Dreamer and Hive. Actually, I don't. That would take so long. <laughs> we don't have a timer to call this at three hours. The rancid egg here for some dude. It's me, Bag, makes his way up. This little mini Aspid gauntlet. Let's see what lies in Stored Kingdom's Edge? That is indeed the question. I. Uh, Interesting play. Uh, you have Claw. You know where Love Key is. Where's Love Key again? It was, uh, I want to say, Green Path Stag. Either Green Path or Queen's Garden, probably. Ooh, finds Grim Child. Love it. <gasps> Baby! Oh, well, the Grim Fight is probably a good thing to go do. Grim Fight would be good. Um, it is available. Yeah, you get one free check, you get the fight check. Some dude coming back, still hasn't died, is able to recover. Not all- oh, that's right, he died trying to get it. Unlucky. I was gonna say, he's gonna get Geo. I was way too excited. But does make it through, thanks to having Dash. We're gonna get two checks we haven't seen before. One is tons of Geo that all fell down in-, in the spikes, you know, like you do. And meanwhile, the Kalos hold a mask shard and a hallowness seal. You hate to see it. Pale ore for some dude. Meat bag's gonna go do pale lurker. Rip everyone's ears. Turn up, turn turn up your volumes. Max you out your your, your earbuds. No, turn down your volume. Up, up. No, I'm even going to be taking my headphones off. Just like this. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. You love to hear it. No, you don't. Meatbag finding a dream gate. And some dude is going to finally give us the Moloch check that I predicted wrongly three times over. If Moloch is tramp pass, I swear. I love it. Who, who wouldn't love to have the Pale Lurkers scream as their wake-up alarm? Just saying. They should very, they should be thankful for the opportunity. You have a very, very distinct idea of... It'll get you out of bed, that's for sure. <laughs> oh goodness, yeah. I didn't care. Hey, lurker down, meat bag finds just a simple key. <laughs> Might think waterways. It Long appears that check, show us. could be the play. Or is thinking I've got the keys. The I'm... Oh no way! <laughs> Moloch is the tram pass. That is incredible. Oh, dude! That's so good. Doesn't have the Geo to buy the map hiddens quite yet. 
Oh, but it's over. It's over. Master, it's over. It's over. It's over. Meatbag with the Dash Master snipe. Oh, no. Oh, what a race. This thing got tense out of nowhere and held the tension. Oh, boy, oh, it was boy. so oh, tight, boy. you could have cut that tension with a rubber band. Oh, I'm curious. I'm curious. What was behind a tram pass? Or even just in the hive? Yeah, thanks for nothing, Grim. Cake Sauce has got it. That was horrible. Uh, looking at the spoiler log. It turns out that Hive only had a rancid egg in Wanderer's Journal. Hello. 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 G G. Good game. Uh, how did you feel about that surprise Dash Master here at the end? Uh, it was definitely a pleasant surprise. I had thought that he had already gone through peaks, considering that the second, the first simple key that I found. So I was just like, eh, well, maybe the second Unbreakable Charm is here that I need. And so that was kind of why I didn't feel bad about potentially chasing some dude. I thought he wasn't likely to find the second unbreakable charm that I had at least. And so it wasn't like the worst thing in the world to me if I was like chasing things that he could have done a while ago. Chase some dude. Good game. Oh, it looks like his audio is muted. Uh, we pulled up the spoiler log here. If you had gone to Crystal Peak, you would have come away empty handed. Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, three Wanderer's <laughs> Journals, a simple key, three Mask Shards, a Rancid Egg, a Relic, and God Tuner. That's incredible. That was nope. probably my next play after, like, checking the three simple keys that I had in my inventory. I was going to go Pleasure House, then Waterways, then um, the last simple key, but... Uh, Peaks was on the list of things to do, for sure. The next thing I wanted to do was the Dream Nail Grim Child, and I really wish I did that first. Dream Nail to get, uh, um, the thing. Yeah. As, uh, everyone knows, Tramp House was at Moloch, which was, uh, fantastic. That was a really intense race at the beginning. Yeah, it was. Um. What dream nail did you find out of curiosity? Um, the uh, the leg eater from Fog Canyon. You know what? So the one above the charm notch. Yeah. Yeah, that was the one that I found, like, super early. As soon as I got Isma's, and I thought I was ahead of you on that chain, I went there and checked it to hopefully push that advantage, and it it turned out to be a really good decision. I felt like I was mod-logging, like, for the first half hour of the race or so, because, like, I could do no wrong. Every decision got me one or two goals, so I felt kind of bad about that. I could also do no right, so... Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the, the one big thing right off the bat, some dude, is that uh, you you know it was at Fury with that that stag station. You skipped it, and Meatbag picked it up right away, and that seemed to give him just that that one edge where he's one step ahead for about the first half hour there. Yep. Also, all the times I uh, my attempts to get to Salubra were uh, quite long. I, I I tried a lot. I you guys did. remember? Yeah. I think it, like, died. I tried like four times, I think. Um, it was a mess. Yeah, I know you found wings, and then there was not a whole lot at Salubra. I think, like, I was super money starved. Like, I was eyeing that hive blood charm just to have a four charm. Like, that would have been my first charm if I had been able to afford it, just to get that over charm goal. I see. I see. Where were the two unbreakables? Does anyone know? 
Well, one of them one was, was at Lost Kin, like the wings check. I didn't think you were ever going to find that. I see. Uh, I tossed him up in chat. Fragile Heart was at the Rancid Egg in Weaver's Den. And okay. Strength was at Shade Soul behind Elegant Key. Okay, so where was Lantern and Elegant Key? Okay, so you're going to love this. Hang on here. I had it, and then I, I, I control f something. So Royal Waterways, had anyone gone down and explored? Uh, the Mask Shard on the left yeah. side had Lantern. You would find in waterways. Okay. A, there was the King Fragment at Dung Defender. Uh, Dupe Wings at the King's Idol behind Dung Defender. And so, where was Elegant Key? Oh, I. Th at the Pale Ore in Basin. Ooh. Okay. If I well, I don't know that I've gone on there. I think. Um, Going through Soul Sanctum was on my to-do list as well, but that would having missed the Paylor and Basin because I think I just got sidetracked in Ancient Basin like too too many times with all the stuff that I was fighting there that I forgot to go back for it. That would have been a long time for me to go back to. Yeah, that's Where easy. To do. Me back. Uh, my claw was at oh no, it wasn't eleven grubs. I think I got the same claw you did in the city. Okay, I see. I forget. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, up the yeah. elevator. I, I Wings I had know. very early because it was at uh, the stag nest stag. How long did I have claw before uh, Meatbag had claw? I feel like it was forever. Oh, it was a long time. You, you had it for probably 15, 20 minutes. If it was know. a while, but like... The thing that was stopping me from doing uh, city uh, storerooms was money, right? As soon as I found an, I was actually was heading there, but then I found an arcane egg uh, above Lem. So I said, okay, this gets me there a lot faster than stupid pogos. And so I had a suspicion that's where you found Claw, and I was right. Mm -hmm. Um. It, it turns out Sanctum was pretty stacked, too. You had Sprint Master um, at Soul Master, so that would have been a square. There was a Dream Nail at Spell Twister, a Fireball at the Seal, and Spell Twister was at the Geo Chest. Did you get Dive from Grubs, or did you find it somewhere else? I found it. I forget where, though. I ended up just picking up the 10 Grubs. It was so, I was like rushing around so much at the beginning of the seed that I was like, didn't have time to pick up grubs. And so at some point I just said, okay, I want dive. And I went and, you know, picked dive up was 10 the, gloves, grubs. Dive was the journal below Stone Sanctuary. Oh, I missed that. That's embarrassing. Oh, well, I like always forget that check. My, uh, towards the end, my goal was to go for checks that I think you would have just missed. Meaning, like, if you're in green path and you, like, don't go all the way to rates or all the way to whatever. Um, I thought those are those would be quick and not, like, would be beneficial. And they, for the most part, were. Yeah. Green path had Malik, for example. Yeah, I, it might have been a long time before I tried Malik and been really sad after you'd marked both the... Try and pass goals, and then I found it. But I got lucky with finding Grimchild in Kingdom's Edge. I thought you had done it. What what simple keys did you find? I found like three in rapid succession. The first one was actually diving in Kingdom's Edge. One I think was. Um, one was you found one in Crypts when you were setting up for um, uh, the Flower Quest. And the other one was in. Oh, okay. Oh, go and check uh, quick flash. What was that quick flash? Uh, nothing. Okay, good. I was unsure if he had died for a lot of the like match. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Uh, like I said, I had to farm grubs for it. it. It really wasn't until just before I went to full clear peaks that I I finally killed the last two grubs and got dive.
Oh, GG to both of you. That was an excellent race. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, GG. GG. That was great. GG. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch it back. I believe we have two races here tomorrow. I don't remember exactly where they are, but there's going to be one at, I believe, 3 and 7.30. Am I getting that right, Raph? Yeah, that sounds about right. We've got Quacksilver and Arrow Racer in the first match at 3 Eastern. Uh, Insomnia and Zephros at, in prime time at six at 7.30. And then we also have one on Friday between Jetfire and Spanda Bear at 7. We don't yet know what channels of this gaming they will be on, but we sh you'll be able to know soon enough, and you should come join us. As always, thanks for hanging out. We hope you had a great time, and be sure to stop in Wednesday and Friday for more Hollow Knight action. Uh, final message, feel free to, to give these runners a follow. Visit their Twitch pages. They're doing this because they love the game, and they provide more content than what Speed Gaming provides. Uh, that being said, uh, congratulations to Meatbag on your first win. GG, some dude. That was intense, and we hope to see you again. GG, if you haven't been told to check out the Hollow Knight Discord and the Randomizer channel, you totally should. Yeah, definitely go do that. Good night, everybody.